Hello, my name is Stephen Boone, and I would like to share with you this little video I created about my curved bottom mini plane. The curved bottom plane starts uh, just like the flat bottom plane, and uh, we get to this point and things start to diverge. I use a 12 inch sanding disc to help mark out a curve on the bottom of the plane, just to give me a reference point. I take it to my drum sander and start curving the bottom of the plane and I do a lot of this by eye. So you can see here what the curved bottom plane looks like after my first attempt. This is another shot right off of the drum sander here. I've made a curved bottom jig to help me smooth out all the imperfections that you see and uh, it's just lined with 150 grit sandpaper and I move the bottom of the plane back and forth on this smoothly trying to uh, shape everything uh, very nice and, and smooth it up. Back to the drum sander for some more refinement of the bottom of the plane as well as the top of the plane as you can see here so I turn it into this little egg shaped thing. Back as you can see to the smoothing of the bottom of the plane and I, I go back and forth quite a bit. Here I'm adjusting the uh, opening for the mouth of the plane so that the iron can protrude properly. And an additional way to do that is with a file so I, I recommend that if you're going to do it yourself use a file instead of a chisel. You can see in this shot that I still have a little bit of work to do. This shows that as well. So I'm going to come back to the chisel again and uh, continue the process of carefully opening up the mouth until I get the blade to just protrude. Now that the blade is uh, ready to make a test cut, I put everything together just like on the flat bottom mini plane. Um, I removed everything and I'm beginning to do the tapering of the sides. Even with the curved bottom plane, it's nice to get kind of close to the soundboard sometimes. I don't use a disc sander because it's uh, too delicate. So now you can see with the drum sander and that flat sanding area, I was able to put a taper on the plane like so. If you look very carefully, you'll notice the iron is protruding and it's a little bit higher on the right than on the left. So I go back to my curved jig, and while this is exaggerated, what I do is sand with a little bit of pressure on the low side to help even it out. After I've done that, the blade has fit well, and I'm making shavings the way I like them. You can see a modification I made to the wedge on the mini plane I usually use. Feel free to modify this any way you like. Now the curved plane, um, why have it? I've set up a little uh, brace here and uh, as, a, as with a guitar I would go ahead and start with the chisel but one of the things about chiseling down a brace is sometimes the chisel slip off and imagine if that was the top of your guitar on the inside you have a problem. That's where the curved plane really helps. So I use the flat bottom mini plane to help ramp the brace down but at some point I won't be able to use the flat bottom plane anymore because the front of the plane will pull the iron off of the brace as you see here. And that's where the curved bottom plane really helps. I can put a gentle slope into this brace and feather it right down even with the surface you're trying to join. Now if the curve of the brace needs to be altered if you want to have a something more curvy than what you would do is you could take this plane and modify it by uh, just pulling away material where you see the pencil here and you could also pull away material in the front if you do modify your plane what you don't want to do is to mess around too much with the area just in front of the blade and uh, as the pencil will show in a moment just behind the blade so try to stay away from these areas because you don't want to mess with the opening of the mouth too much. Now sometimes you might want to make the blade stick out a little bit further. 
my normal position is trying to hold it straight up and down. It's curved, so it's a little tricky. But if you want the blade to stick out a little bit more, you could either tilt the blade, uh, the plane forward as you insert the blade, or to the rear. Of course, this is all very exaggerated, but you could adjust the depth that way. And so here we have it, the curved bottom mini plane, and uh, it's a real useful companion to the flat bottom mini plane, and it helps get into spaces where the flat bottom one won't. So hey, I really appreciate you watching the video, and until next time, thanks for looking.